Work with the free and a good save by Moore. Yeah, good reaction there to get down to save that. Yeah. There were a couple of Rovers fans who were directly behind it, thought it might have ended up in the net. Well, Keen, Keen Moore, of course, has played for both Bows and Rovers at under 19 level before joining us here in UCD. And uh, making a start tonight after a, a couple of games out of the first team. There is Andy Miner on the screen. How good is this wall? Is the question. Yeah, we saw in the Celtic game during the week a ball going straight through the wall. The shot comes in, and the wall has done its job tonight. Mm -hmm. To Gary O'Neill. Gary O'Neill finds Graham Burke. Burke has. Clark here on the left. Yeah. And he knocks it back to Sean Hoare. Hoare is going to try a shot near the box, or as he slips it inside. He slips it inside to Rory Gaffney. And it's uh, gone harnessly through to uh, Keen Moore. Yeah, big chance there for Rovers down the left. I mean, that ball inside. One could argue UCD got away with that one, and that's encouraging the uh, visiting Tifosi to go to full voice. Yeah, you can see in fairness, Keeney gets a touch to take the yeah. sting out of the ball. It looked like... Um, Good defending. Sean Hoare, who has many happy memories of uh, his time playing in the Belfield Bowl, not least of which winning the Collywood Cup with NUI Maynooth in 2014 here. Take him and Jake Sean Hoare, ball in. Oh, for Gaffney. That Heads probably over. should have been 1-0. That was a big chance. Yeah, and that was that great play by Sean Hoare on the right-hand side. Yeah. He turned his man in outside yeah. out two or three occasions and eventually a pinpoint ball into Gaffney's head. If that had gone in, you couldn't have down. complained, really. You know, given how dominant Shamrock Rovers have been, they probably would have deserved it, to be fair to them. Cleary now for Burke. Faruja now. Fares on the left, cuts back inside. That's exactly what he's doing. He's in the box. Faruja chips it in at the back post. The header comes across. It's bouncing around inside. The shot still comes in a second time. It's still there. Hasn't been cleared by UCD. And once again, Gaffney. And we will have a corner for Shamrock Rovers out on the right-hand side. Some excellent defending. Last ditch, admittedly, but some excellent defending there from UCD. Absolutely. Rovers blown and blown and blown. Trying to blow this door down here. And it very nearly happened there. Bounced around, as you can see in the replay, all over the place. And eventually, Gaffney with the shot. But it didn't find... Cleary, Gary O'Neill now. One wonders, Peter, if UCD had put in performances like this all season, how much better off he would be in terms of league points. Yeah, indeed. Oh, this is a chance, though, for Rogers there on the left channel. They come again, ball inside. It must be an opportunity. It has to be. Oh, and he's hit the side netting there. And UCD lived to fight another day. That was Aaron Green with the shot. Um, a couple of Rogers fans thought it was in, as did I. I have to be honest and say, I think to be, I think to be fair to the students, the way they've been defending, they deserve that little bit of the rub of the green. Yeah, indeed. Coming forward. Attacking in waves here at Belfield. And here is Fruji, who's been part of most of the good stuff they've done tonight. Chips the ball into the front post. Keeney heads it. Cleary now has the ball. Leaves it back for Fruji. He will put it in his left boot now. In at the front post for Green. The ball is still there. You see, haven't cleared. It's still there. An opportunity. The ball comes through. Oh, and it is saved low by Keen Moore. Keen Moore's in the right position to stop that one. In fairness to him, his positioning was excellent. Yeah. Well, look, as we say, there's still, what, uh, just under 20 minutes to go in this game. How, how many nights have we been unlucky, Declan? We probably had the rub of the green tonight, but uh, which can make all the difference. And another night, Rogers could have scored three or four. No bother, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. There's a man in sky blue. Evan was on boots to clear it. Danu Kinsella Bishop. Still, Danu Kinsella Bishop does really well to take this ball down. Does he have any support? He does. It comes in the form of Sean Brennan. Brennan plays one through here for Keane to chase down. A touch there from Hoare, but he was in an offside position. Right, but unfortunately, UCD, if they want to stay, keep alive their chances of staying, which would obviously involve another five victories afterwards, which would be some feat if they managed it. But they do have to score tonight first, or else they will be relegated in about 17 or 18 minutes' time. Headed clear by Clancy. Edge of the box here. Opportunity, the shot comes in. Oh, just cleared the crossbar. But but I would argue, given we're minus 63. Green, Cleary, he's got all the time in the world to pick out his man, puts it in at the back post. An opportunity, it must be a goal for Rovers, it's not. Oh, that was unbelievable. I thought definitely that was the moment. On any other day, that would have been a goal. You could hear it. Rover supporters were saying Gaffney was uh, being pulled, which he probably was, but he was also very much leaning back into the player, and uh, I think he had a, a grip of the jersey as well. 